Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about rain shadows. But before we talk about rain shadows, let's just take a moment to talk about where rain comes from. So rain comes from a few different places, but the rain that we're going to be talking about comes from the ocean. So the sun caused ocean water evaporation. That evaporated ocean water rises up, becomes clouds, and then the wind blows those clouds over the mainland. And then eventually those clouds will rain. So this is the type of rain that we will be talking about. If you look here, here's an image created by one of my past students, Cam Cadenacy. He created this image for his do-it-yourself textbook. And this is an image depicting a rain shadow. And so what happens is you have the moisture and the water that rises from the ocean and creates clouds and it blows over the land. And what happens is it hits these mountain ranges and then the moisture gets trapped on this side of the mountain range. And so all the moisture is staying on this side, and then the other side of the mountain range ends up being all desert. And this is the rain shadow. So when you have an extreme mountain range blocking the moisture from the ocean from the rest of the land, we call that a rain shadow. And so then, then you get large deserts. Now in this image, it looks pretty extreme. You have very green grass and green mountain ranges over here. And then on this side, it's just pure desert. And in reality, it's actually like that. So if we look at Google Earth, here's California, and then you see Nevada. The Sierra Nevada mountains create a rain shadow blocking Nevada. And so Nevada ends up being an extreme harsh desert because of these Sierra Nevada mountains. This mountain range is 14,000 feet. And so that's too high for the clouds to carry their moisture over into Nevada. If we zoom in here, you'll see that on the California side of the mountains, it's green and got lots of forest on this side. And then over here, it's this barren desert. Now, this happens in California because the Sierra Nevada mountains are so, um, so tall. Now, if we go over and we look at the east coast of the United States, you see a lot of green. And the reason you see a lot of green on the east coast is because there's not an extreme mountain range that's creating a rain shadow from the rest of the United States. So a large portion of the east coast is forest and lush because they don't have that rain shadow. And this pertains to most of the world. Wherever you find a large extreme mountain range, you'll usually find desert on the non-ocean side. So we call this rain shadows.